Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, had a good scrimmage today. It was our first scrimmage. Um, you know, I think overall we went 97 plays. Uh, our quarterbacks were live, all but Dylan, which I think is always good for us to evaluate these guys. Uh, it's good for our defense. Um, you know, we, we let everybody play. Uh, we started out the practice with three, or excuse me, uh, four live field goal, field goal blocks, which is was very good. And then in the course of the scrimmage, we had three uh, punt, punt returns. Um, we were thud on the ball carrier, but everything else was live. I thought it gave us some great information. During the scrimmage, we kicked field goals and kicked extra points. Uh, but overall, I mean, uh, there's a whole lot to work on. I mean, we got a ways to go, but the good thing is I think our attitude's good. I think our guys want to get better, they want to be coached, uh, but it gave us great information from a coach's standpoint of kind of where we're at. Um, you know, it's been a pretty solid first two weeks uh, besides the scrimmage, but there's nothing like a scrimmage. I mean, that, that's when you as a coach, I mean, you're able to evaluate everything. Everything's clear, you know, and so uh, it was good. I did feel like overall our body language uh, was good for the first time. Uh, we had officials out there, we put the ball down, just played old school football and we, we pay some and it was good for the offense and defense to, to feel that. Questions? I know you still got to review the tape and whatnot, but what's the biggest thing you think you learned from today's first full scrimmage? Well, <laughs> the, you know, you got to understand when you're back there, like, like I am watching the offense and defense, there's a lot of information, okay? I'm looking at attitude, I'm looking at effort. Uh, you know, everything I saw is correctable and, and coaches wise and coaching and but like I said, there's uh, nothing really stood out other than I think we're where we need to be as a team from an attitude. I mean, effort-wise, uh, you know, we're always going to challenge our guys to be uh, you know, at the highest level with that. With players still working back in the shape, how do you think they've dealt with the increased level of physicality and contact this week? I think, I think they did well. It's the first day we tackled, you know, so obviously our tackling, well, you know, we missed some tackles. but. Uh, you know, for the most part, I think uh, the ball carries, I think there was two or three balls on the ground. That's to be expected, but one of them was a really good hit. Uh, but like I said, it was a good overall just base evaluation. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, fancy offensive plays. There wasn't a whole lot of fancy defensive plays. It was more put the ball down and play. That's what you've seen from, you mentioned Dylan obviously not being, being non-contact, but what have you seen from the other quarterbacks outside of Dylan and stepping in? Yeah, it was good for them to see how they reacted. You know, there's a couple good runs, and there's nothing like, you know, when you're back there practicing, you're wearing a gold jersey, and we're blowing the whistle and we're telling the defense to stay away from the quarterback. I mean, there's nothing like getting out there and really playing. And I know from a coach's standpoint, Coach Kenny's standpoint, you, we can evaluate them. I mean, they did some good stuff. I mean, there's some things I wish we'd have done better, but it was good for them to, to play regular football. You got uh, you're halfway through spring, spring ball, Second half coming up, what, what do you really want to see from this team over the next couple of weeks? Fine tune. I mean, fine tune in the details. And, you know, we talked about developing the foundation this spring because we didn't get a whole lot of chance to walk through. We didn't get a whole lot of chance to meet with our guys. We hit the ground running. So we were playing catch up and we're just trying to lay the foundation. And that way, this summer, when they're working out on their own, they can actually improve and they'll know exactly what's expected. So it's just more about the details. We're still not going to get real fancy. Uh, the rest of the spring, we're just going to try to get good. And I'll say this, we're trying to figure out what our strengths are. And we're going to build around our strengths. We're starting to understand that a little bit better. Obviously, we probably learned more today than we did any of the other practices overall. So that's good for us. We'll have a uh, personnel meeting uh, update you know, tomorrow, and that'll be good for us as coaches in, in the second half of spring we'll try to finish. What surprised you most so far this spring that you weren't anticipating? Uh, I don't know if there's anything that really surprised me. It's just more of, uh, you know, our players, I, I think they're trying to do what we're asking ask them to do. I mean, that's the good thing. I mean, you're coming in with a new team and you got new personalities. You're coming in with a different scheme, new coaches. But I think overall, I think our guys are trying to do what's asked. And that's, that's the number one thing when you're building a foundation is, uh, you know, the players and coachable and doing what you ask. And I think overall they're trying to do that. Are there any true freshmen who have stood out, you know, in the this, in this spring? Not at this point. And like I said, my mind's a little bit scrambled right now with mm -hmm. just seeing a 100 play scrimmage type deal. But, you know, as it gets closer, more on down the line, I can probably be a little more specific because it's going to be real hard today. RJ Harvey is a former quarterback playing running back now, number 44. What have you seen from him? He, he, he's a guy that's impressed me at times. He's learned to play the position. You know, you can tell that, but I think I think it's important to him. 
and uh, it was good for him today for the first time to get out there and you know playing real football, playing running back position, not playing quarterback. What were your observations of the special teams work that you saw? Yeah, it was it was good. You know, we we've done a lot in special teams up to this point, so it was more of how they're going to react in the stadium, and uh, so we, we we've done quite a bit up to this point. Do you guys have some junior college experience? Jalen Griffin, Kadeem Robinson, they come in, how they look this spring? You know, they flashed and done some good things, you know. But here's probably the best thing for those new guys is they're starting new too. Even the old guys that have been here that played, it's, it's a new system, offensively and defensively and special teams. So I think it's a real positive for a guy that just got here that, you know, you, in a normal situation you'd be behind quite a bit and, and they're not. A lot of the experience graduated in, in, as far as the secondary goes. Devon Wilson comes in and transferred last year from Georgia. I think he made a few plays out there today. What have you seen from, from yeah, Devon? Yeah, I mean, he, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's one of those guys that you can feel his presence, I'll tell you that. I mean, he's a confident guy and flies around. And he did some good stuff today. Yes, you plan on having another scrimmage before the spring ball? Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a little, probably next week will be more situational. Uh, we'll get into two minute and do some things like that, and then, of course, spring game, we'll put the ball down and let our guys play again. Guys, you talked about previous coaches setting the foundation, but this week you met with UCF's first ever coach, Don Jonas. What was that conversation like, and what can you get from a coach like that that you know, really set the foundation? Yeah, it was pretty special for me. Uh, you know, I'm learning the history, you know, and that's important to me. And, uh, you know, like I've said before, the foundation's been laid uh, in a big way by the coaches, former co coaches, former players. I got a chance to you know, really meet the guys who are gonna go through pro day today, which was real special for me. I knew a lot of them, or, or knew, knew, knew of them, uh, coached against some of them, recruited a few of them, so that was that was real special. But for me, it's, it's more just uh, getting to know uh, the people that help build uh, this program and to help get it where it is today. Uh, that's important to me. Today that Howard Schellenberger passed away. Did you ever have an opportunity to interact with him? You know, I didn't, but I got a lot of respect for him as a coach, and I, I, I hate to hear that. And uh, but uh, he was one of those guys. He, when you're growing up, you look up to, and uh, you know, very impressed with. But I'm sorry to hear that. You got some experience returning on the offensive line. What's kind of the early evaluation of how that unit is performing? He, you know, um, I think they're doing some good good things. You can tell they're a veteran. I'll tell you that. Um, you know, Coach Ann, we're asking them to do a little bit different footwork, and so it's kind of uh, they're working to, to get that done, and, and I think we're improving. Um, so, and then our defensive line's done a good job too, especially today. I mean, we had some guys really flash and uh, really impressed me out there today. Is that something that stood out to you a little bit as the defense, at least in the first couple of weeks? How um, maybe you seen some of that improvement, some of the underdogs? Yeah, the defense, uh, you know, Coach Williams, he's going to have them playing hard. And they're going to they're going to tackle today. It was the first time we tackled. They'll improve each time we do it. But they were flying around there. Um, they were getting lined up and swarming the ball, and that that, that made an impression on me today. Did you like what you see? I mean, you mentioned earlier a hot day like today. You know, tackling and everything. Did you like to still see the hustle from the, the sidelines from the guys? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it needs to be better. But I told them afterwards for the first time. And I've been a lot of places. The first scrimmage. It's usually pretty ugly, and I didn't see a whole lot of people that were just showing, you know, bad body language and uh, just acting like they're not. Nah, we didn't see any of that. I mean, the guys were trying to push through. They were trying to finish, and that, that's really what stood out to me. And that's what I told them when, when, I, when I called them up that, you know, we'll get all the little things. There was drops. There was miss, misalignments, misassignments. Well, that's coaching. We'll get that taken care of. If they'll continue to buy in and uh, – play extremely hard and push through and have that winner come out in them, then uh, you know, we'll have a chance. So where are you towards your installation through this? Uh, first <laughs> We're, we hadn't installed uh, probably not as much uh, as we normally would at this point, but it has to do with where we got. We didn't get to have the meetings you normally would. You know, we were a month behind, and we didn't have the walkthroughs we normally do. So we're just trying to develop that foundation. That's hard for me. i got to be patient. But we're very patient on offense, defense. And, and I think today it kind of showed that we were able to at least big picture execute some things without the, the, uh, the, the really uh, usually first scrimmages, there's a lot of ugly stuff. I, what, there's not, there wasn't a whole lot of ugly stuff big picture. So I think not having as much installed helped with that. Yeah. 
Thank you, guys. Thanks, 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 Th